So, tight trailer, how do I store my stuff? I have a lot of cubbies, but I'm pretty tight on space, and my cubbies, unlike, say, Ron Polk or uh, other trailers out there that are bigger, because mine's a 6x10, that I don't have 8 feet of cubbies, and in fact, this cubby is even shorter than the bottom cubby, because I have my battery uh, situation up here where I have my chargers, and I have some chargers and, and extra batteries and then some storage. So I don't have a lot of storage, so what I'm having to do is I'm having to double up. So for instance, in this cubby, way in the back, I have my small compact drill. I think it's the Atomic Series, and in there goes also then facing the other way, an impact driver. And I've done that two more times. Hammer drill, impact driver, set on angle so they kind of lock together and they very rarely ever come out. Other hammer drill, impact driver. Over here, I have my right angle, stores upright, and there I am actually putting my new impact wrench in. And that one I'm actually setting back in because it's, it's uh, kind of back heavy, and so it'll be less likely to tip out if the trailer is rocking back and forth. In this cubby here, I have my drywall trimmer that came as a kit with my drywall gun. And so that sits all the way in the back and then this gun actually is able to go and sits right in that cubby so that takes care of this and then I have my bigger drills up in here I've already put in my mixing drill and I put that in upside down because it's top heavy and I do not have as many 60 volt batteries as I have 60 volt tools. So I can't keep a tool on every battery. For my 20 volt, I can do that just fine. But for my 60 volt, I have issues. So that one sits upside down. And I don't even know if it's stored right side up, if it would actually do a good job. It may be, again, too top heavy. My SDS, this is a 20 volt, and I do leave the battery on there. And by the way, this is one of those knockoff, I would call them Chinese batteries. I don't know where they're made. But anyway, knockoff battery of the DeWalt. Had a good time with it. Does everything I want it to do. And then lastly, I'm able to put my 60 volt uh, joist, or joist drill. Um, I call it a whole hog, but it's the really thin one, not the one with the wide body. And that one I have to put in on an angle because it is just too long if I just lay it down. And then just the handles will go in here. and all my drills are put away. So, good use of space. Some of the, uh, mostly the tools actually lock themselves together uh, for transport. Uh, once in a great while when I hit some really bad roads, I will get a drill that will come out this way. I don't know if I tried to set it in this way if it would be any better. If it came out, that would start spiking my countertop and marring it up on uh, the fact that I do keep bits and drivers and drill bits in my stuff ready to go. So when I grab this, I am on, honestly ready to go on a job site, especially in the fact that even the tool itself on board has some extra bits. Thank you, Renovation and Repair Richard out of Michigan for that idea. Clicked on your link, went right to Amazon, got a three or a four pack in, and I'm set and ready to go. So thank you very much for that. There you go, all things driver and drill in this trailer. I don't have anything else that does jobs that they do. All right, thanks.